So friends, a little bit different sort of video for you here today. We're here to talk about Pennsylvania State Inspections, specifically as it relates to trailers. And uh, we have a RV travel trailer. If you're new to the channel, we generally do RV vlogs as it relates to the state of Pennsylvania. And we also go a lot of other different places. So here's a quick intro just to get you in the swing of things. Friends, this video is obviously geared more towards Pennsylvania, but if you're not from Pennsylvania, let me know what did your state require as it relates to travel trailers and inspections. Friends, in the remainder of this video here, we're going to discuss what's all involved in getting a trailer inspected in the state of Pennsylvania, and then what trailers actually need to be inspected. And so, to start, our travel trailer, it's got a gross vehicle weight of about 7,500 pounds, and so that's one of the things, right? So if you're over 3,000 pounds, gross vehicle weight, your trailer needs to be inspected. Travel trailers generally qualify because any trailer with brakes needs to be inspected. And so those are the two requirements that I know about. Uh, if there's any more, I will you know, chop them into the video here. And so, I know that quite a few people, actually, pretty much everybody that I know with a RV trailer or any kind of trailer, actually, I would say 90% of those people don't get their trailer inspected. Which, you know, it's obviously from a legal perspective, not kosher, right? But the thing about it is, is a lot of people, I think, just don't know. Right, I have two trailers. I've got a dump trailer and then the RV that's behind us right now that we're taking to get, get it inspected. And when I bought both of them, I bought them both brand new from dealerships. And it was never mentioned to me from either of them during the process of either purchase anything about state inspections. And I bought them both in the state of Pennsylvania. So it's not like, it's not like I bought them out of state. And you would think that both of those dealers would want me to come back and bring my trailer back there and have them inspect it. That way, if there's something wrong with it, obviously, they get the business of that. But, um, you know, I think from for the general public, it is a very good idea to get your trailer inspected, especially these days. Most people are not mechanically inclined. So, if they're looking at all this stuff over themselves, they may not see if there's a problem. And if you've seen a lot of my videos, you'll know that I am fairly inclined mechanically. But I'm still taking my trailer to get it inspected, and that's because even though I may see things, it's always better and in your best interest to have a second set of eyes that does this stuff every single day. It's always better to have them look it over as well. You know, because I might have missed something while looking it over. I do some mechanical stuff on a daily basis for a living, but you know, not as it relates to drum brakes. And to be honest, I've never actually really dug into drum brakes. I can do discs. I'm very good with discs, but you know, looking at a set of drum brakes, I can tell you the basics, but I think it's a good idea to have a second set of eyes look us over. Now, I'm guilty of the same thing just mentioned, though, as far as not getting it inspected, right? We, we bought this thing in March of 2020, and it's now May of 2022, right? So we've had it two years, We're supposed to do this yearly. And there's no way that I can really justify that to you. Friends, what all is involved in getting this PA inspection sticker? Well, they're gonna check the tread of your tires. Ours were good because we just got brand new ones. That's for another episode. They check your wheel bearings. They check your lights to make sure they work. And that's really about it. Basically, from what I can understand, they want to make sure that you're paying 
for your registration and your insurance and then they want you to pay the $34 to say that your trailer's good and you get this sticker right here. So, is it a benefit to you, the Pennsylvanian RVer, to get your trailer inspected? Well, legally you have to. If it's over 3,000 pounds or it has two or more axles and it has brakes, you gotta do it. You know, I know a lot of people skip it. I think a lot of people don't know about it. Uh, but I would suggest, for safety reasons, that you go ahead and do it. A lot of this stuff, it's stuff you really ought to be looking at on a regular basis, right? Make sure your brakes work, make sure your lights work, make sure your bearings are good, a regrease. And we talked about all this in our getting ready for the 2022 season video. I'll just link that video right here. It's a good idea to go and watch it before you get out and go on this season. It's springtime and it's camping season. We're in full swing here. We got a lot of more adventures coming. We're headed back to the great state of West Virginia here soon. Also, we just got back from our trip up no to northern Pennsylvania, so that video will be next week or the week after. Usually we upload on Thursdays around 5 o'clock, so we'll see you every Thursday. Catch you later.